Okay, hello everybody, it's our Ernest Far. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to play some Command and Conquer Riddler 3 Uprising Skirmish. I will be playing as the Soviets and the computer will be the Empire of the Rising Sun. Uh, let's begin. The Future Tank. Okay, let's start beginning. Okay, let's start building our refineries. That's always the first best thing to do. Now, then, I don't think we're going to have to worry about much uh, land assault. Probably a lot of sea. Now, definitely a lot of air. But most likely, land. Construction complete. New construction options. Building. Let's go ahead and start building some base defenses. Because since this is the Empire of the Rising Sun, uh, they do have amphibious, a lot of amphibious vehicles. So we need to start filling this up with troops as fast as possible. Now then the best way to do that is to put them right there, right next to the other circle. It truly does help out in the long run. Building. And then we'll do the same with the air units. We'll place an air unit here, an anti aircraft unit there. Construction complete. Building. So, first of all, let's, uh,. Again, this way it's perfect, so that way somebody comes through here, you got two there, you got two here, it's perfect. This is the best, this is how I set up a lot of my base defenses now. Especially when going against the Imperial Army. Okay, so let's send out... That should do. Uh, build one more course. Perfecto. No. Now then, of course, since this will most likely also be a lot of air units, we're going to need to get some bullfrogs out here. Go ahead and build our bullfrogs. Uh, let's go ahead and extend the base. Kind of want to extend it out more here. But I guess we will. Hmm. I guess we'll add on this land so that way we can build more cool base defenses. That'll be a bigger help much later on. I wasn't doing anything. I'm innocent, I swear. What's it gonna be? Are supposed to do something? What's in here? Hmm. Construction complete. Low power. Okay, let's build a superconductor right here. Mm. And I just got paid today. Yay! Okay, let the superconductor build. Construction complete. New construction options. Okay, perfect. Now we definitely got enough power to, of course, build a bunch more defense units. And we also get the Tesla coil now. That is very crucial for what we're going to be doing later on. Sorry about that. Had to go grab something to drink. Let's see. Let's go ahead and build our other oil refinery right here. 
Now then, these guys are, of course, always going to be our first line of defense. So we'll have infantry, flak cannon, infantry, flak cannon, and then infantry again. And then we're going to play some more flak cannon down there. Then infantry and flak cannon. Then we're going to definitely put a Sputnik down there. So let's go ahead and create our Sputnik. Beautiful, just beautiful. Okay, let's get our airport up and running. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's get them all the way over here. Uh, sure, sure, it smells good. We need to make ourselves an engineer. Go ahead and put them in there. I thought those would be bigger houses. But I'd be wrong. You get no food. We lied. Then where's my engineer at? Good, good you are here now. Okay, now for here, we're going to place up the Tesla coils. Because we want to protect our refinery. Beautiful, beautiful. Where's our slow engineer at? Okay, I guess that works. Construction complete. Building. Then we'll build one right there to support that. Oil okay, now we're gonna be making a crap load more money. Money, 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 money. Money. Okay, so we also got these. Now, of course, the two little squiggly lines, that means these are amphibious as well. So let's start building up our military here. Building. Of course, we've still got a crap load of buildings we have to build building. to go with it. Because we definitely want the cure off. Feel the crush. Let's go ahead and create two more engineers. Because we're going to want to capture the hospital. Well, I guess, yeah, we'll take both hospitals. Why the, why the hell not? And then we're going to place a Sputnik right here. So that way we can build on this island. Because this could be a key battle point right there. Beautiful, just beautiful. Let's build another Sputnik. Okay, so now we can build our Kira, but let's let our um, money, of course, build up, back up. Now, the bad thing about the Empire of the Rising Sun is they can build their base anywhere at any time, including turrets. They could literally put a turret 
right here, and I have a home base right here. That's why I want this island so badly. It offers an amazing strategic point. Because now we can place all of our anti aircraft right here. And we can also place all of our. Well, not really power plants, but uh, Tesla coils. And maybe a few power plants. Building. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll place one there. Because we'll be drawing a lot of energy. Beautiful, beautiful. Crap, they already took over this space. Right there is a pretty good spot to build it. Construction complete. Building. Okay, there we go. We got the land. We got the sea. Now we got the air. Protected. But we do need to build some naval units. So let's, let's go ahead and build one of our naval bases. We'll build it right here. Of course, we will need to protect it. Let's go ahead and build a super reactor right here. Construction complete. New construction options. Beautiful. Everything is coming along so beautifully. Hey! Hey! No! I just took that! Bad engineer. Bad, bad engineer. If, if that's how we're gonna play, then you leave me no choice. Okay. Now, now you made me mad. You, you, you took my airport. Now, I, now you're gonna face the mighty Soviet Navy. Drop everything off here. Hmm. Got. We don't get land carriers anymore. I've been playing so much Real Dirt too. I totally forgot about that. Beautiful. Okay. Operation. Destroy the airport. If I can't have it, they can't have it. Now then we are going to take one of our Sputniks and drag them way over here. Or not, right over there is a little bit better. Nope. Not happening. Hmm, I need some units that are very good with naval. Come over here. 
crap, I deselected them. Because I need something that can protect my units as well. That also naval. So let's go in here and... Let's bring out some stingrays. Okay, let's see. Did we take out the hospital? Yes, we did. We have destroyed their hospital. Oh, well, not the hospital. The, the airport. We took out the airport. Yes, everything will belong to Russia. Hmm. What, on better thought? Let's build our base right there. Don't know what that was, but it's did. Just say though, the Americans do have some better units. By a long shot. I'm sure we get the Desolator, but he ain't that good. Beautiful, beautiful. Okie dokie, let's see, let's build. Another one of these bad boys. Beautiful. So we're gonna drop them off like they ain't no tomorrow. Okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, suck it. <laughs> nice try, you little SOBs. Okay, yeah. Now it's time for some Armageddon. It is day of judgment. That could be true. And then, of course, let's build us another helipad. Right here, because this one's going to be close to the base. And can you guys guess what we're going to be making? I'll give you a hint. It was both in Red Alert 1, Red Alert 2, and Red Alert 3. Time to give him Russian hell. Time to drop down.
Now just run them down. Okay, we're going to need some support back here. Okay, wow, well, these Japanese SOBs, they were preparing for us for a while now. But luckily, nothing can stop the mighty apocalypse. Ha 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 ha! you, Empire of the Rising Sun! I'm surprised they didn't place any sentry turret. But, now it's time to build the ultimate weapon here. Yeah, I got a feeling they got something else hitting around here, because that's way too easy. You're, you're joking, right? That that's it. Well, that had to be very pathetic. Oh, it didn't have to be. It was pathetic. Wow. That that was sad. I mean, yeah, they were the easy fleet, but I mean, come on, usually they pick, put up a good fight. Okay, let's do some swapping around here. And, um, hmm. I got three sides to defend. This will be interesting. Warning. An iron curtain has been detected. Wait, what? Is that even possible? Okay. So apparently, I have a Soviet. I have a, my own little Soviet uh, Tesla coil there, with my own personal little Tesla coils. Cause yes, I'm Soviet. That makes total sense. Hmm. Hmm. I just, I just find that very interesting. Hmm. Construction complete. Surveillance suite ready. New construction options. Building. Hmm. Training. So we know we gotta defend this side off. So we'll definitely do that, and then of course we'll defend this area off. We'll place um, more of these down here. I don't really care for the Spectrum Towers. I mean, I know they were trying their hardest to recreate the Prism Towers from Red Alert 2, but the Spectrum Towers are just pathetic compared to what the Prism Towers were. If you are a true Command and Conquer fan, you know what I'm talking about. 
Let's see. Uh, Enemy units detected. New construction options. Hmm. Yeah, we need to create some um Building. couple more prospectors. See, in the first and second command and conquer, you always got an ACV or an amphibious transport. And I love those little SOBs because they can transport your MVC, which is your mobile construction vehicle. Or MCV. I think I said MVC. I mean MCV. Okay, where'd he go? Okay, let's build, say. That, that sounds about right. So now these guys right here are a beast. I guess I'll kind of keep you there. Because why the hell not? Uh, okay, let's let's go ahead and get a heightened clearance up. Yes, keep the peace with your shotguns. Hey, this is actually a very good place to set up a forward base. Enemy units detected. Construction complete. Our base is under attack. Of course you are. Yeah, come on, hurry up and build. That was a close call. Building. Yep, they're attacking from all flanks now. Our base is under attack. Training. It's always good to send a dog first. Yeah, believe it or not, dogs are actually the best thing. They're feared. Construction complete. And they also do that. So let's say for this turn, we're actually going to place it right here. Take another one, place it right there, do the same there. We're going to create a wall of turrets, or at least we're going to try to. Building. Let's see, we need the defense bureau for these. I definitely want the defense bureau for this one. Uh, okay, we need the air base. Let's go ahead and build an air base. Even the peace. On alert. That's affirmative. Beautiful. Construction complete. New construction options. Enemy units detected. What do we got here? I don't know what the hell that was. I don't want to know what the hell that was. It's probably the best I don't know what the hell it was. Okay, let's get our defense bureau built. Enemy units detected. Where? I think that's a bear in the water. No, oh, that's a bloody terror drawing drone. New construction options. So let's go ahead and place one of our pacifics or our pacifiers. We're gonna place one here. We're gonna place one right here. 
and of course one right here. And this will give us a pretty wide area of coverage. If we place it right here, it could cover a little bit of the ocean, which is something we actually want it to do. So now let's get the next one to go about right here. And that's why you put shotgunners in there, people. Simplest reason. I'm back with Tillery. Beautiful. Just pure beautifulness. Pacifier. Clear the grounds. Nothing to worry about. So let's see how far can these SOVs shoot? Pacify them. Wow, that that's actually a pretty far distance. I actually like that. I like that a lot. Oh, polar bear try to be a polar hero. A unit is under attack. This is more accurate for vehicles, but still, it's still pretty good. Oh, see, hell no. Okay, we need to get our other turret system brought up. Where's my base at? So we're going to place one right around here. And then we're going to get the max clearance. We're going to go ahead and do that. Lucky, we got a terror drone. Okay, I don't like that bear being like that close to me. Hmm. Don't know what is attacking me. But whoever they are, they're going to die. There it goes. We'll put them to rest. Put them to the rest. Yes. Enemy units detected. Okay, let's see. Maybe we should build a prison tower. Like I said, I'm not a humongous fan of them. I actually really hate prison towers. We'll start building them right here. That way we can use up more of this land space for anti-aircraft. Put another one right there. Okay, and now let's go build the future tank X1. Because we're going to start flanking them now. Hmm. I think it's also time we build one of these bad boys. Set them right there. These are bad. If you remember my mod video I did for shock therapy, you'll remember this. There we go. Looks like we got some commotion going on there.
I love hearing that sound. We are operational. You poor bear. Poor bear. Let's see. So we're gonna place the next prison tower right here. Ooh, we're running low on funding here. Construction complete. That should help out a little bit. Hopefully. And we're still within the boundary lines. Beautiful. That that's just beautiful right there. We got the meanest killing machines around. Ain't nobody gonna mess with us. Now then, I guess we'll go ahead and start just mass producing these. We are gonna take advantage of that other ore refinery. Guys, why the hell not? Ooh, we got shock troopers. Oh crap, I don't like that. I don't like that. Yep, I had a very good reason not to like that. Are you murky? Beautiful. Okay, let's actually stop making these. We're actually going to build a couple of pacifiers to add on to that. Because the mobile artillery, we can sit up from a distance and just bomb start to bombard them. Which is something we actually kind of want to do in a situation like this. I think it's time we make um, Mr. Happy come back. There we go, so let's take course to try to take advantage of these. Yeah, we ain't gonna have enough for that. Okay, so I believe what these guys can do. Let's take a look at the video. That is beautiful. Okay, let's go get the drop on them. Now then, now we got our little. Let's see, wait, where is it? Right there she is. We're gonna need to make another one. Because what I want one to do is have a machine gun focused on this, and then the howitzer focused on this. That way we can take them out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. I don't know, every time I hear her say that, I kind of want to think of Donkey Kong. 
Okay, so one will have the chin gun, the other one will have the collider cannon. I think it was called something else in the mod. And now let's go recap it. <laughs> Oh crap, wow, they were they were preparing for us. Okay. Wow. They they were definitely prepared for us. <laughs> wow, they uh, they got that island like wow, I'm actually surprised they got that well defended. I uh, guess well, I guess they do what I would do. Hmm. Construction complete. Surgical strike ready. Hmm. New construction options. Okay, let's get us some um, of the units here. Uh, let's see. We're gonna need Building. a couple of these. Um. A couple of these. Uh, yeah, a couple of these. <laughs> Just a couple. Four, Fourteen ships do. But of course, we need to take these this SOB out. B seated. Hmm, I could be seated, but then that would take away all the fun. There we go. Get him into proper formation. Cause that's how you do it. Ooh, that's not good. That's never a good thing to hear. Okay, I'm surprised they haven't sent any vehicles. Like, this is pathetic. Even though they are getting some good punches in, this this is really pathetic. Just like the Japanese. It's like they just given up their will. And we've been poisoned. Because, you know, why, why, why not? Okay, I'm gonna need to make an engineer. Where's my barracks at? Get in there, get that captured. Wherever the hell it went. Okay, it's right there. So that way all my naval units get repaired. Ah, you think you can take bounty out on me? Puny Soviets. Welcome to America. Now I gotta say that I do feel kind of biased playing as the Americans. Um, just, you know, mostly because America always gets the best weapons, while everybody else doesn't. I see where to go. Where, where did my little guy go? Oh, of course, he's ta he's taking the long way around. Why does that not surprise me? I I, th I think that's enough. Now let's see, I think it's time I would build a proton collider if I had enough money. Okay, so that's where their base is at. Get her done. I just love 
this. This these things are just so overpowered, especially if you get a cluster of them. Cause this shit got nuts. Well, let's see if you really are the finest of the fleet. Okay. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? So now let's just go bombard the hell out of that. Cause you know I'm smart. Yeah, they ain't gonna come nowhere near me. Not surprised they don't use their uh, mines. Okay, we so we gotta take down the iron carton first. That's the priority we need to take down. Come on. Okay, yes, we get we've almost actually taken that out, which is good. But we do need to take them out immediately. So let's go do that. Select location. An all mine is near indication. Enemy engineers take power. Yeah, sorry, this is now American property. <laughs> There we go. Oh crap. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, man. Became infected. I, I, I had no other choice. Ooh, we get Mr. Happy now. And they are now without power. Which means, they got no turrets. Which means, let's go, uh, let's go screw them up a bit. Let's go mess them up. Get rid of the red coats. I know the red coats is referring to the British, but, uh, they all are in red coats. So I think I think that's appropriate actually. Crap, they got power back up. Not for long. Yeah, I, I cannot do anything right now. Okay. We are gonna create a crap load of these guys. And now they no longer have an iron curtain. Which means we now get revenge. Beautiful. You don't mess with the OG Americans. This is how you do it, people.
crap. All my units are infected. But hey, we got we got a big surprise coming for them. Hmm. I'm get Mr. Happy version 2.0. That got intense. But we're Americans. We don't know the meaning of giving up. Okay, dummy. Let's let's go actually fill up our little prospector thing. Okay, we're gonna need to put a hold on production for everything. That we can build us some more ore refineries. But I think right there should suffice. I think did we build one of these SOBs? No, nope, okay. So we mostly got these guys, which they should be good on their own. I mean, like honestly, the there with the minigun turrets. They're pretty good. Let's get this guy all packed up. Let's go give them hail. They're gonna be hell to pay for all the blood they spilt. This is America. Watch, well, I don't know where this is. But we're gonna say it's America. Yeah, that's right. Run away. There we go. We gotta get our money up. Oh, hey, no. You think you can come take that? Give you a slight advantage? We ain't giving you no advantage. Oh, of course you go after the weak guy. Where's my doggy? Where's my little doggy? You haven't had anything to eat in a while. I feel sorry, so let's let's go feed the dog. They do have it coming. That's what you get for being Soviets. Beautiful. This is gone. This is perfect. Can't hurt me my iron curtain. Oh yeah, suck it. This is how we do things in America, hombre. <laughs> this is how we do it. Yeah, this is more beautiful. This is beautiful right here. Oh, I, I saw it. No, I'm not. Who was responsible for this? They 
Sorry. Dang it, that was one of my best ones. Yeah, yeah, you didn't lost, but hey. We're kicking some major behind. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and I didn't get to use the Super Mr. Happy, but hey, that's good. Okay, let, let's see the casualties. Um, wow, I didn't produce that many. That's, uh, that's, that's actually surprising. Let's see, structures. Oh yeah, I built the most. Resources. The Soviets had the most, but America still came out on top. So let's see, session length, 32 minutes. Wow, I didn't realize that. This is probably going to be a long-ass video, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, let's see, structures created 25, destroyed 23. Uh, they've only created 23. I lost 0, they lost 31. Wait a second, that makes no sense. How can they have lost 31 structures if they only created 23 unless let's see because they did have that extra superconductor so that'd be 24 25 26 27 20. that should only be 28 if you count the uh, two turrets that were added for anti-air plus the two tesla coil turrets plus the uh superconductor not superconductor um Oh, what was that? What was that? Uh, ion cannon plus the uh, super reactor. Or actually, that I think that's 29, but I don't think that's 31. I think that's screwed up. Structures destroyed, 31. Structures captured, 1. They captured, 2. Uh, structures sold, 0. Units created, 37. Oh, wow. They created 206. I lost 22 men out of 37. They lost everybody. And again, how does that number add up? 236 out of 206. That that number makes no sense. Any units killed? I killed 222. They only killed 16. Wow. Wait a second. That also doesn't make sense. Because right here it said they lost 236 units. Um, I only lost 22, but they only killed... They killed 16, but I had to kill several of my own because they got infected with terror drones. Forgot about that. Okay, I guess that counts. Uh, let's see, unit kill death ratio. 10.09, 0 0.07. Average income per minute. Yes, again, the Soviets did have that, but we still won. Uh, they did collect the most ore. We had the highest efficiency rating. Uh, sir, structures infiltrated. Special abilities used, we used 53. Um, support powers used, 7 out of 7. <laughs> wow, but holy crap, we kicked some major butt today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see me play some more, Command and Conquer, Red Alert 3, um, Uprising, let me know in the comments below. And as always, have a nice day, live, love, and game on. Peace.